guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 11 homework. So let's get started. Number one, Jenny bakes 10 cookies. She puts seven chocolate chips on each cookie. Draw a type diagram and label the total amount of chocolate chips as C. Write an equation and solve for C. All right, so let's do a type diagram. So Jenny bakes 10 cookies um, total. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. All right, so each of these little boxes represents a cookie. So we have 10 cookies here and seven chocolate chips on each cookie. So then we can do that and show that each cookie or each little box has seven chocolate chips. So we want to find out how many chocolate chips there are in total, which is C. So 10 times 7 equals C. So then C equals 70. We can box our answer. So that means there um, are 70 chocolate chips. In total. All right, number two, Mr. Lopez arranges forty-eight dry erase markers into eight equal eight equal groups for his math stations. Draw a tip diagram and label the number of dry erase markers in each group as V. Write an equation and solve for V. All right, so forty-eight dry erase markers. Okay, so our total is forty-eight and eight equal groups. So one, eight equal groups. Um, and we want to find out how many are in each group. And that will be V. How many markers are in each group? Stand for V. So we have 48 divided by eight equals V. And 48 divided by eight is really um, six. So then we write V, that looks like a V, V equals six. So that's our answer. So we write there are six dry erase markers in each group. All right, and number three, there are 35 computers in the lab. Five students each turn off an equal number of computers. How many computers does each student turn off? Label the unknown as M and then solve. All right, so our total is 35 computers. And five students each turn off equal number of computers. Okay, one, two, three, four. I have one, two, three, four, five. And they each turn off um, equal number of computers. So how many computers does every student turn off? We write M for computers. So what we're going to do is 35 divided by 5, and that will give us M. So then the 35 divided by 5 is really 7, which means M equals 7. All right, each student turns off seven computers. All right, number four. There are nine bins of books. Each bin has six comic books. How many comic books are there all together? All right, so, tape diagram. There's nine bins. And each bin has six comic books. So how many books are there all together? We can do C for comic books. So what we do is nine, P nine bins times six equals C. So then C equals 54. Means there are 54 comic books all together. 
Alright, number five. There are eight trail, trail mix bags in one box. Clarissa buys five boxes. She gives an equal number of bags of trail mix to four friends. How many bags of trail mix does each friend receive? Alright, so let's first find out how many bags are in a bo are in eight boxes. I mean five boxes. So in one box we have eight and since she bought five, so one, two, three, four, five. And there's eight in each box. So how many are in total? Well eight times five is forty. So then that means there's forty bags in total. But now we need to find how many bags of trail mix does each friend receive. We do another tape diagram here. Our total is 40. And then she has four friends. That's one, two, three, four. So how much does each friend receive? We can do T for trail mix. 40 divided by four equals T. So then T equals 10 which means each friend receives 10 bags of trail mix. All right, number six, Leo earns $8 each week for doing chores. After seven weeks, he buys a gift and has $38 left. How much money does he spend on the gift? All right. Eight dollars a week, doing chores. So seven weeks. Um, and each week equals eight dollars. So how much total money does he have right now? You want to do eight times seven equals fifty-six. So right now, Leo has a total of fifty-six dollars to spend. But then we know she, he buys something, and after buying that item, he has thirty-eight dollars left. So we want to find out how much money he spent on the gift. We're doing a tape diagram. Our total is 56. Um, he buys a gift, and after buying that gift, he has $38 left. So how much was the gift? So we can do G for gift, because we want to find out how much the gift costed. 56 minus 38 equals G. So then G equals 18, which means Leo spent $18 on the gift. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time, bye.